Good morning, my darlings. We are going to go roll on over to a couple of my favorite thrifting spots today. Um, it's been a while since I've been over there. It is a grand day. It's 90 degrees outside. Hello. So um, let's roll over there and see what we can find. Holy cattails, Batman. I came for a ride out here because I thought it would be peaceful. It's a weekday and it is busy. But I um, thought I'd show you a little bit of the ride that I take to a couple of my favorite spots where I, where I uh, thrift at. Man, you can't beat this fall day out here. 75 degrees. It is gorgeous. Look at that sky. I've been a lot of places, folks, all over this country. A lot of other places. Keep coming back here. No need to ask why. Oh my goodness, glorious day. I don't even care if I find anything. I'm just glad to be alive. Wow, great day. Sorry guys, a lot of that was with uh, no audio because the music's pretty loud. I was liking the Johnny Cash. I like that poodle decanter. She's got a lot of decanters in here. Really neato. Can't escape the trains in this area of the woods, folks. Loving, loving the blonde dresser. Yeah. Check out the old Walker ice bag. We'll have to check that out. Holy sheet cakes, guys. It's actually in there, and I like the I like the design. It's really cool. So I'm in here talking to the new owner, and I'm looking at this grand shiffer robe. And I look up, it's like, what's all of these? They're the old player piano rolls. How cool. And, um... There's one of them. Looks like it's in really good shape. Still got the pull tab on it. How grand is that that we got to see that? Sweet. Some lovely Taylor Smith and Taylor Boutonniere. I think that's what it's called, Boutonniere. Or I have it wrong. I can never remember when I have it wrong or when I have it right. Check out the Blendo Crew. Oh, it's Anchor Hawking. Cruet set. Golly gee, does that look like Blendo? I think we're gonna have to get that. I've never seen that before. Yeah. I'm gonna have to ask her for how much for all of these candles. She's got several colors. And I'm liking it. I'm pretty sure that's Abingdon, but I can't pick it up because my hands are full. I have this at home in Amberina and I think it's either Hazel Atlas or Viking. Not sure. I like the color. She's really got this grand display up here with all kinds of jewelry. None of the funky kinds that I like but still. Oh great. Hair barrettes. Look at these. Beautiful. Those look like they're from the 70s. Oh, I'd say they were. 
They'd probably sell better than those. Some cufflinks, watches. Really cool. Looks like a little wooden pencil box. Yeah, and she's got some. I'm sorry, PETA people. I'm not trying to be mean, but it's cold. I live in the Midwest. We farm here. So she does have some actual fur pieces there. Very pretty. Milk glass heaven. Holy cattails, Batman. You don't often see this piece with the fork, though I don't know if the fork goes with it. What does it say? My old eyes can't read it. Significant weight. It's a neat little piece. That right there, my dears, is Lefton. I have a ivory set. Just sold that all on eBay. This is interesting. Like the old pots, guys. I like this design. Really interesting. Big chip on it, though. I do like the color, and I do like the wavy design on it. Really neat. It's an interesting little piece there with the spoon in it. Yeah. I am liking that blue ashtray. I'm liking that a lot. Boy, if you're going on a trip and you want to feel like you're going mid-century modern, here's the place to come and get your suitcases, folks. No kidding. No kidding. That's Fire King here. So is that. <coughs> oh, how cute is that? Oh, I like them better when they're uh, napkin or uh, mail holders, but it is pretty. Boy, she fell into a ton of candles here. Oh my gosh, you guys. It is the downfall of me. It's vintage handkerchiefs. Oh, look at the little floral patterns. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Look, it's a whole box. Wow. So I spent $20, and I got a few things. Um, I have a little gal in the box that will match her. I really like these. And then you didn't see me pick her up. The other stuff you did. Um, some little vintage Christmas candles. What I was really interested in was all the old vintage uh, postcards because I use them. I put them in my eBay boxes. If you spend $20 with me, you get a little vintage postcard. So we're going to go across the street again and see what else we can find in the other shop. You guys also missed the Karen in the other shop who insisted on being waited on la 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 right now because we just didn't know how much she wanted this stuff. Okay, lady. Okay. You know, I saw on Homeschool Picker, she sells these really good on eBay, but I know doinkus about them. Oh, great display window. So when I was saying I preferred the ones with the um, so the mail slots or napkin holder, this one's um, broken, but I would have bought it if it wasn't all like those. I am picking up that and uh, Tom the turkey. Ooh, boop, there he is on the floor. That is a great nativity scene. I'm going to have to ask about that. Oh, four or five boxes of shiny bites in the box. Lots and lots of pink depression wear here, and she's got a lot of peach luster, which I always enjoy. Some uh, marigold there, of course, that's I guess what you really find a lot of. This is still here, which is weird because I like it, but it's too heavy to ship. Oh my gosh, I am so in love with this, and it is made in Japan. How sweet! This room has really changed because there used to be a big table there. That's really nice. I like how it looks back here. Super. Well, it can get a little <laughs> dusty in here too, you know. 
Oh, it's bad allergy season right now. So Becky, the lady that owns this shop, she's offering me water because I'm over. I'm literally coughing my head off. Bad time for that when COVID's on the uptick, but she knows me and it's allergy. So I found these little cocktail picks in the box. Oh my gosh, must have. That's great for little parties. How often do you actually find the tops? with the ceramic discs in them from the old days. I think that's probably the first time in about 30 years I've seen those. So I just found the Corel Woodland Brown Sugar Creamer in the box. The box kind of, uh, but I might, I'm gonna have to get it out and look at it. So it's the full set Woodland Brown Sugar and Creamer with a little insert in a box but i like this design and i never see them all together like that so i think we're gonna get that too well there's something i've never seen milk glass pedestal mugs with uh, annie get your gun and the sound of music on them if anybody knows what these are well i know what they're from but got any more explanation drop it in the comments thank you